what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we are back with overdrift and it's brand new update number 10 this brings along a bunch of updates to both the american map and the japan map we have brand new locations and they brought over the track map from the japan maps so now we can see the different layouts in the different locations and they updated the suspension settings too so we're going to go ahead and check that out right now they have mentioned that they increased the angle limit to uh, 69 degrees of angle so it doesn't say on the slider how much angle the car has only you can put it on a percentage so we're just going to run it at 100 hopefully that gives us the 69 degrees of angle but uh yeah nothing else seems to be any different in the settings there so check out the map we can see a bunch of new like locations on here and uh we want to go ahead and jump to boomba mall to start off with and see how they change the map so what you can see here is there's obviously a new building in the middle and uh they changed the sponsor names on the building so that's pretty cool uh i don't see anyone's actual name in the game anymore so we'll see if we can get our name in into the game like the other content creators but uh I have a feeling they removed all the actual names of the content creators which makes sense because you know they don't want to show bias to anyone individually but uh yeah let's go ahead and try this new layout and uh, see how it flows so first thing off the rip I always forget that this game is very handbrake heavy but um yeah the steering inputs feel a lot more realistic than previously the force feedback does feel a bit softer so uh we're definitely gonna have to play with these settings just a little bit but uh, this car rips and i always forget how much fun it is to play this game now this isn't like a Seto or leave lift for speed or car x but it is still very very fun it still works with the 900 degrees rotation so i can't complain there because a lot of other games don't offer this so, yep, we tried that location out. Let's go ahead and jump to Quiet Town and see how Quiet Town plays and if they added anything new to it. So, so far the map looks identical. They just added the layouts. And it looks like they took everyone's name off the buildings over here as well. So, um, we don't have What's Up or uh, Smokey's little iconic spots in the game anymore. But, um look like they put some barriers there that we can hit but uh yeah nothing else has really changed here so let's go over to this new location and by the looks of it it looks like a big building and then like one skinny road so hopefully there's like a toge or something but uh this looks actually really sick really wide open the layout looks super flowy as well like it's just a left turn right turn left turn right turn so this is probably will make for like one of the best tandem tracks considering how wide the lane is but yeah definitely definitely liking this layout a lot some really big sweepers here so that makes the that will make the tandem like really easy to follow but just like i said earlier this feels freaking great definitely like this little outside the park type area gives off some tailgate vibes yeah we're actually killing this layout right now like i said i haven't really changed the settings in the wheel yet um i don't know if it's a wheel thing or just how the car feels in general but uh so far this feels actually really really good very predictable on the steering input man we just killed that yeah definitely a big fan of this layout all right so now let's go to our third location which is going to be the og map layout and uh yeah this should be really really fun Let's see if they made any changes and first thing off the rip you can see that they added some new track layouts here as well 
Uh, let's follow the first one, see how it flows, see if there's any changes, and then we'll go ahead and jump to the second. And okay, so that's different right there. I don't remember that being open. And this corner is actually way wider. Oh, they also removed the gear cage right there that you would usually always smack into. So that's cool. They they definitely made this way bigger for tandems. It's going to bring a lot more people here. Oh, shoot. Definitely messed up right there on the steering input. But this feels really good, man. I'm really hyped about it. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this update a lot. So let's go ahead and see this second layout. Looks like they changed the names on the buildings over here as well. Still got Dollar Trees. I don't know how uh, they're getting away legally with that name in the game, but we'll see. So yeah, this goes this way. Alright, so this is like a big figure eight back into the, the main layout, it looks like. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. That flows really, really well. Big angle there. Hit that little clipping point. Transition one way back the other way yeah i'm i'm a fan of this this feels really good set it on a limiter a little bit big angle oh boy yeah i'm i'm really really enjoying this well, let's go ahead and hit up auto day road and see if the minion changes here as well could be just me but I don't remember this checkpoint system being in the game and uh yeah I actually like it a lot so this is definitely going to be a huge incentive for making money and stuff like that because I don't know if you guys noticed but there's no more boxes gift boxes to discover over the map just like how the Japan map was so kind of have to grind it just by drifting and doing the little challenges like this but this doesn't take away from the game at all. I actually enjoy it pretty well. And also for the record, the car feels really good over there. So let's go ahead and destroy that cow and head over to the new city and see how they change this. Um, I know they changed some of the, like the, the buildings and how it flows. Uh, also, they, take, they took away some of the construction zones to make the lanes a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and explore this, see how it goes. Um, there's new scrolling marquees because that wasn't there before. There's just like some building names. But over here on the sides, we had like a lot of construction. Now it shows there is some vehicles there, but it's not how like blocked off by some barricades and stuff like that. So this works out really well. Makes this a whole lot of fun for people, especially when we're getting tandems. But uh, let's go ahead and jump to the Japan map and see what we're going to do with this. So I know they didn't add any of the new locations into the map just yet. But they did take out all the barriers in the downtown city portion. So that was a, a huge problem with the, the previous update that couldn't really explore the downtown area because there are so many barriers that are blocking off certain roads. Now we can just like openly drift wherever the heck we want and this is going to lead to a lot more like different layouts for people to drift on and I'm a big big fan of that. So yeah guys, hopefully in the next update we'll get like a new city. Definitely looking forward to maybe some like a toge mountain or something of that sort. But yeah, they have really done a great great job with these additions to the game and the car feels way better so yeah guys i'll catch you on the next one hope you enjoy this leave a like and a comment and i'll see you next time peace